Hey guys, this is MadKids101. This is going to be a video on developing for the iPhone. That's right, developing for the iPhone. Some of you already have Xcode and have downloaded the iPhone SDK to program your own app for the iPhone, and some of you still need to download the iPhone SDK. To download the iPhone SDK, you need to go to Safari, go to developer.apple.com, okay, pretty simple, and just go to under iPhone Dev Center, click Visit iPhone Dev Center, then click login and I will have a link to the iPhone Dev Center. Then you want to type your Apple ID, which is um if you have iTunes and you use iTunes, it's your iTunes email address that you use for iTunes and your password. Um if you don't, you can easily make an Apple ID. So I'm just going to type my password and click login or hit enter. Okay, so now we're logged in. Okay, and however you want to do it, you can just download the iPhone SDK um right there. And once it's downloaded, you'll be able to do whatever you want. You'll be able to install it with the package. Once it's installed, you can just open up Xcode, um, which will be one of the things it's installed. And in the Xcode thing, you can go up to File, New Project. Under iPhone OS, under Application, select Window-based Application. Then click Choose. Then take your name. We're going to make a Hello World application, so we're going to call it Hello World. And I actually spelled hello world wrong. I spelled hello with a W at the end end of the name. Just ignore that. Okay, so this 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 window will come up. Sometimes this won't be there, but if it is, that's okay. It doesn't matter. So um groups and files will have all these files under it. You just want to select the main thing, hello world. And under that there will be these things. Um in main menu.xib or main window.xib will be among them. Just double click that. And that'll open another thing that's installed with the iPhone SDK called Interface Builder. With Interface Builder, we can build our interface for our application. Normally, the library window will be on the left, and this other window, the attributes inspector, will be on the right. If they're not, you can go up to Tools Library on the Tools menu, and of course, Tools Inspector to bring up the attributes inspector. Okay, so now. We can just under under object under libraries we select objects and select library. And now we want to go to um and these are the main controls we're going to be using is label, round rect button, and text field. So first of all we want to drag two labels onto our onto our palette, onto our window. And the first label will be right next to the second one. I'll make this say hello. Second one will say world. And the reason we have two is because we're going to change the text of the second one to be whatever you want it to be. Okay, so next, you want to drag in a text field on the left. From the left, you just click it, drag it in, right there. Okay, now you want to drag in a round rect button. So, we also, I'll just drag on another label and put it right here, and this will say name. I'll also change this to say OK, and I'll change this to say World. OK, so now we have our interface in place. And maybe if you want, you can just drag something else on for fun. I don't, I don't want to, but you can if you really want to. So now we go up to File, we go up to Save, and that saves everything in Interface Builder. So right now we built the interface to our application. Now you can just quit Interface Builder. You can also go up to the interface and click Quit. Now back in Xcode, you want to go up to Action, Add, New File. Then under iPhone OS, select to Coco Touch Classes. And then in here, select NS Object Subclass. Then click Next. And right here under File Name where it says Untitled.m, change that to say Code.m. And Code is going to be our class name. So just remember Code. So then we click Finish. Now, wherever code.h and code.m appear, mine happen to be under resources. You want to select those two and drag them over to classes. And, okay? So now, if we select classes, you can see code.h and code.m are among these. So first, I'll click code.h. And so this is our code.h file by default. Right here is what it looks like. So, right here between this at interface and this closed curly brace kind of looks like a bracket and parentheses put together. Um, we just want to type some a few lines of code that, that it's not that hard. So first, you want to type ib outlet, and I will have 
you will be able to download all this code in the description of this video. There will be a link. So IB Outlet space UI label space star, which is shift eight, and then we'll call it name label and semicolon. Okay. Now hit enter and now type IB IB outlet space UI text field space star name text field semicolon. So right here is our label and our text field. Right here. This is the code. Remember you will be able to download this. Now outside of the close bracket and inside of the at end, right here there's a line. We want to type the following line of code. Dash space open parenthesis IB action close parenthesis click click and we'll put a quote and an open parenthesis ID close parenthesis sender semicolon that's all we need right here and we can just copy this whole line except for the semicolon so now we've copied this and there's a semicolon there just like this so we've copied the thing that says IB action, close parenthesis, click, colon, ID sender. Okay, so now we want to just save code.h. We'll go up to file, save. Now we'll select code.m. Now in here, in between the at implementation and the at end, we'll paste that in. And if you did accidentally copy the semicolon at the end of that line, delete it. So what we should have is dash space, open parenthesis, IB action, close parenthesis, click colon, open parenthesis, ID, close parenthesis, sender. And this is case sensitive, by the way, which is why you should just download the source code and look at it. Okay, so we've typed this space, open, curly brace. And that that is shift open bracket, if, um, if you don't already know what a curly brace is. Um, watch keys on your keyboard for more information. So we've done open curly brace, then you hit enter, and then we'll type close curly brace. Now create a line between this line and this line. So in between the open curly brace line and the close curly brace line. And within there we're going to type the following. And this is important. Bracket. Name label. Space. Set. Text. Colon. Open parenthesis, bracket, name, text field. Okay? Close bracket. Or no. Space, text. Close bracket. Close parenthesis. Another close bracket. Semicolon. So this is our code. This is all we've typed in code.h. So now, I'll save this up to file, save. Okay, now under Hello World, right here, we can just, once again, double click on mainmenu.xib. I will just double click on that. And by the way, to edit these, these pieces of code under classes, we just had to double click them. That's just important. So now back in Interface Builder, um, we have our interface again. So, and we also have this window with all the files in it. If if you haven't quit Xcode, then you, you should look for it because it's important. So right here under Library Objects, you need to find the object called Object. Looks like this this um, orange cube. And you just want to drag it into this list of files. Okay, so now in the Attributes Inspector, you want to select Object. Go into the uh, um, Attributes, which you can get to by clicking Tools Inspector. Um, you just select it, and on the attributes, there should be something that says I. Click that. It, it's an I icon. And under that will be something that says class, and by default, it'll say NS object. Change that to say code, because that's what we call their class. That's the class name, code.h and code.app. So now, to incorporate the code with the interface, first we click on code, hold control, and drag it over to the um, text field that we made say world, and we say name text field. Now we also have this label that says world, so we want to click on code, hold control, and drag it over to that label that says world, and we'll select name label. Okay, now on the OK button, we select the OK button first, hold control, and drag it over to code. Then we select click. That's what we call the event. 
So now we can just go to File, Save, and Interface Builder. And I'll go back to Xcode um, just to demonstrate this to you. Okay, so now that I'm back in Xcode, we just want to click Build and Go. This will run our project. So right here is, is our project running in the iPhone simulator. And here it is. So it says, Hello World. If we change this thing that says name to, say, Dave, then we click OK. It'll say, Hello Dave. Um, so this, these are the basics of programming. Um, stop back next time in Xcode Lesson 2 for the iPhone and learn more. Goodbye.